And it's time for lesson three of our community project and art. Different art styles from our history and art's evolution. Let's get to it now, shall we? Hey you, do you know anything about the history of art and its evolution? No? What do you mean? Well, it's really simple. You may have seen many examples of art in your life. An art is something that is ancient. It's something that is thousands of years old. Through our history, there are many different art pieces from different cultures with their own unique styles, like ancient Egyptian wall art from 4,000 years ago. These ancient wall arts would often depict something about ancient Egyptian gods. There's also old European tapestry from many centuries ago that would typically depict something religious or something about old European life. And along with this, there are even things like anime and manga and anime was getting motivated. Wow, she looks dangerous. But that's still really cool, right? And not only did all these unique art styles and art cultures exist, but art has evolved so much ever since it was first put to practice. Going from things like old cave art from the Stone Age, to incredible paintings from European artists like Vincent van Gogh, and, and even to things like modern art with sculptures with pencil crayons. Credits to Molly Gambardella, the creator of this incredible sculpture. The evolution of art since, since its beginning is, is a really amazing thing, and it really makes you wonder, why was art practiced for so long? Hmm, I'm not exactly sure. What do you think? Well, in my opinion, I think it has something to do with the, with the desire to let your thoughts out and express them. The reason why people make art is because they want to show or depict their thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and imagination in a way that conveys a certain feeling in a different way from just using words. I believe that art is something that has been around for so long since humans have always wanted to, to depict something about themselves. I think, that, I think the people of back then wanted to show what they believed in, what they love, what they do, what they think about, and who they are. Wow. Yeah, with all this in mind, I want you to remember something. If you ever decide to make any art of your own, don't feel like you need to follow these art styles in order to make, to make your art good. Yes, these, these art pieces of the past are amazing, but everyone's art style is different. Each of, each of the styles from these different art pieces are different, so why, sh so why shouldn't yours be different? Remember that, okay? Okay, okay, I will. Nice. So yeah, that's basically it for lesson 3 of our community projects for art. The next lesson will cover personal art styles and the personal association one may have with a certain color. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, so... Thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for lesson 4, personal art styles and personal association with a color. Wait, do you hear that? Um, yeah, where is that sound? Oh no, I think it might be that motivated anime girl from earlier. Oh really? I knew she was dangerous. Well, we better find somewhere to hide then. Yeah, we should. So anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for watching the whole video. And be sure to take a look at, take a look at Lesson 4. And yeah, so... I'll talk to you guys later. And bye for now.